Hi Scorpio, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is going to be your love reading for <clears throat> May 29th to the 4th of June. Spirit guides, can we please get a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for May 29th to the 4th of June. In love and romance, I'm using the Light Sears Tarot. <clears throat> I'm wearing my Botswana Agate over here. Mother of Pearl. My sun ring. I know it's weird and tacky, but I love it because it reminds me of the sun. Because of Sekhmet. Carnelian, again, fire energy for Sekhmet. <clears throat> All right. What do we have, please, for Scorpio? Spirit guides, what do we have for Scorpio, please? And thank you so much. Thank you. Night. Can't grab it. Knight of Pentacles, the Hierophant, which is the Keeper of the Sacred in this deck. The Wheel, beautiful. Ooh, and the Devil. Knight of Pentacles is showing travel, a trip, or going away for business, or in love and romance, because this is what this is, it's moving towards a committed relationship. Could be even travel in the sense it's a world card long distance. There could be distance between you and your person. Hierophant, or the keeper of the sacred, is faith. Faith and commitment. That comes up for marriage. The, wheel, the world comes up for a new cycle beginning in your life. The Knight of Pentacles is somebody who's slow moving, but they're, look, they're going towards their wish fulfillment in love. They'll make a sustainable, practical, great, wonderful, solid choice for themselves. They want to find the Queen of Pentacles so that they can be the king of pentacles and have their kingdom. The devil here is showing Capricorn energy and some kind of obsession with somebody. You might be obsessed with somebody, okay? Or somebody's obsessed with you. It's a card of controlling, addictions, um, toxicity, okay? Or being completely gonzo for somebody where you're... Where you've lost touch with what is allowable behavior and not cool. All right, whoever this is. What else do we have? What else do we have? What else do we have? For Scorpio, please. Thank you. King of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Now, if there ever was two energies of being single, Nine of Pentacles is, I used to always say, it's a sex in the city energy, you know, going on dates and doing things and being able to take care of yourself and now you're ready for more. The King of Swords and the Queen of Swords are both the divorcees, single parents. Um, doesn't have to be that way, but when I see it with the Nine of Pentacles, either you're super successful at some kind of work that you do where you work in communications or you have to be a public speaker or a teacher or some kind of analyst or techie person, I don't know, whatever it is, they're both very single energies. Yeah, and so is this one. Knight of Pentacles wanting to go find that person that they want to build their kingdom with. They want to find the right person for them. They're looking for commitment. Even Nine of Pentacles has the bird of spirit saying, giving that intuitive nudge that you're ready for more. Now you're ready for Ten of Pentacles, which involves a partner, children, grandkids, dogs, the whole nine yards. All right, any other messages, please? And the King of Swords is showing this kind of very <clears throat> strategic approach to love. There's a coldness to the King of Swords as well. And a hardness. A jaded energy as well. The King of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles is super practical. Okay, what kind of decision you want to make. Anything else? Anything else, Spirit Guides? Anything else for Scorpio? All right, Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> You're waiting. You've been working on something to cultivate romance. You've been putting in the energy, letting the feelings, like the deep roots here, letting the feelings get deeper and stronger. Ace of Swords, again, this is, this is strategic. This is a move. This is focus and clarity just like the king of swords that's his sword that she's got in coming out of her mind okay that ace of swords the ace of swords is this sword so you're putting energy into someone speaking up with the ace of swords letting them know how you feel making a move okay it's honesty it's the truth 
Any other messages? Any other messages for Scorpio, please? Any other messages for Scorpio? And then we'll pull some Love Oracle cards. Any other messages for Scorpio? Thank you. Ace of Cups. This is this is self-love. Look how she's holding those cups, that cup to herself, the heart chakra. And being able to give that love. Once you love yourself, being able to love someone else. But we got the Nine of Wands. Wounded Warrior. It's saying here... You want to offer love, okay? Or, or this is self-love that you're working on. This, this is inner peace, healing. Okay. This is healing too. Four of Swords after a heartbreak. What else do we have? And, want, and yet wanting to offer love. You're like, it, it's look, it's a lack and then a want to give. A lack card and then a, you know, wanting to try. This is Five of Pentacles. It's a lack card too. High Priestess, intu intuition and secrets being revealed. This is the Ace of Cups. It's showing self-love love offer being in love and yet you got the nine of wands it's it's so weird it's like wanting to offer love wanting to find a relationship but you're totally shut down and closed off and i said to you it's like a very practical energy like you know you know you're a water sign you feel things deeply you know you should have it it's a good thing to have someone to love someone who loves you being in love it's good but you're still not okay. You're not healed yet. So you have barriers to this, okay? Like the wounded warrior is, is vigilantly guarding their heart because they've been hurt before. They've got that that wall up. This is the funniest thing. It's like, and then you've got, look, the hierophant and the devil. That's so weird, right? It's like light and dark. Wanting to invite love in and yet totally not ready for it and hurt still. And so approaching it in a very practical Knight of Pentacles way, I'll find the one that's right for me, who's, you know, got the checklist that I need to like, you know, with the King of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles, that's going to be the best match, somebody, you know, who I'm attracted to. And I'm sure that something will grow from this and I'll, I'll make sure that I'll put in the energy and that when it's the right time, I'll make my move. I want love. I have my wall up, like I've been hurt and I know that I'm still not okay, but I still want it. It feels good. It's nice. All right. Anything else? Anything else, Scorpio? Anything else? Beer guides, any other messages, please, for Scorpio? Any other messages for Scorpio? Any other messages for Scorpio? I'll do three more shuffles. One, two, and three. Thank you. Yeah, see, again with the four of swords. We saw that at the bottom of the deck too. Healing. Three of swords is heartbreak. Here we see um, the three, are these, what are they? It looks like pieces of twigs from um, the nest that she's, holding on to and it's got this red string tied around each of those twigs there's four actually four yeah four sorry and then to the heart which has been sewn closed again because there was a tear in the heart this is healing four of swords is taking a break taking a vacation in modern day speak okay so it could be a healing retreat pilgrimage something or just self-care self-love self-care self-love healing boom emperor that's Scorpio and that's Aries energy. This is getting back into the boss mode. Getting back into your power. Beautiful. And then we get happily ever after. Wish fulfillment. You need to do the inner work first with a hermit card. It could be a Virgo. Dating, celebration, reunions, passion, reignited. Knight of Wands, libido's up there. Judgment, maybe making a decision. Someone from your past coming back. Hanged man. Um, a pause, things like stagnant, not moving forward. And then the queen of pentacles, which I said, you want to work, walk towards. You want to find your queen of pentacles. It'll get there, Scorpio. It'll get there. You're healing. And I feel like uh, this emperor, which is leadership energy, traditional energy. First, you just need to, whether it's focusing on work or making your coins first or whatever it is, you're healing. You will get there. You will find what you're looking for. Scorpios know what's up. They know who's worthwhile and who's not. Okay. 
This is Romance Angels. Spirit Guides, can we get some love messages for Scorpio, please? For the 29th of May to the 4th of June. What are the love messages for Scorpio? For the 29th of May to the 4th of June. What do they need to know, please? In love and romance. What does Scorpio need to know? Thank you. Past life relationship. You've known each other before. And it's not just, I don't even feel just like past life, but it might be somebody here that you've known before in your this life past calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together okay so positive thinking prayers visualizations and affirmations codependency that that's the devil codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life retreat it's time to disconnect from the world and i said you might be going on a retreat with the four of swords like a pilgrimage retreat yoga retreat i don't know whatever you want to call it okay or a trip or a vacation um, and here with retreat, it also says if you go with your person on this trip, it could be very healing away from everybody else, a time to connect and, and let your bond deepen, right? I think you already know that. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. This is law of attraction, right? Look how she's smelling the roses, being able to appreciate beauty, appreciate life, appreciate the little things, showing gratitude loving your life loving yourself self-love self-care all of that and when you can then somebody else will see and they'll, they'll match the vibration and you'll find somebody all right so keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations that's very straightforward right might be somebody that you're not expecting all right and on the bottom we've got reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life i said that already past life relationship it could be somebody from your past reconnecting with somebody from your past okay i'm going to end this reading with a crystal card this is the um oh my god i'm blank right now daily crystal inspiration cards or something i what is this called yeah daily crystal inspiration cards Spirit guides, can we get a crystal for Scorpio to work with for uh, the 29th of May to the 4th of June? I think this love reading was very straightforward and fantastic. Thank you so much. Let's get one crystal card for Scorpio. One crystal card for Scorpio, please. Thank you. Moonstone it says, live your purpose. And I'll just check because this fell down here, but we'll just look. Chrysoprase, allow yourself to receive on here. Heart chakra healing and moonstone. On the bottom, we've got smoky quartz, let it go. Okay, about something from the past, I guess. So moonstone. Moonstone is something that helps with your intuition, your psychic abilities. Tuning into your subconscious, healing your subconscious. Um... You can, you can either, if you don't have these stones, you can just take pictures of them and you can look at them and meditate on them or um, work on, especially with a green crystal, heart chakra healing. Okay, or wear these crystals, whatever. Okay, I'm going to end it with one African Goddess Rising card. I think I want to do one spirit deck here. This is by Abiola Abrams. Final card, please. Beautiful goddesses. Can we get one goddess inspiration card here? One beautiful goddess oracle card for Scorpio. Thank you. Mab Mabokomu. Soul forgiveness. Soul forgiveness. I'll read these. These are really short, but very powerful cards. This deck is so high energy, and it always brings good positive changes to your life. Like I really love this deck. All right. See? Moon again. Maulisa, cosmic power, sun and moon. And you got moonstone. Something to do with that. All right. Let's 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 keep going. Okay. So 28 we have Mbokomu. Mbokomu? I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. Goddess of Soul Forgiveness from Bantu Temple Lovers, Element Bush. For the Ngombe Bantu, Goddess Mbokomu was the first woman. Her father, Akongo, the cranky supreme god, put Mbokomu and her children in a basket and dismissed them to earth. Her guidance. Who do you need to forgive? Let it go and reclaim yourself. Forgiveness is a gift of freedom for you, from you. You can't rush forgiveness. You have to feel it to heal it. Feel the pain, hurt, 
grief, rage, and despair. Take time with your heart. Forgiveness is a higher vibration frequency than the pain you must allow yourself to feel. Unforgiveness colors your world with lack, mistrust, and resentment. You start to see everything through victim-colored glasses. But forgiveness does not have to include reconciliation, even though it's here with somebody from your past. Start with self-forgiveness. Say out loud, I forgive myself with love. Goddess declaration, I forgive and free myself. I forgive and free others. Because I said to you, this reading, this whole reading is like wanting to find somebody, wanting to find that great big love, and at the same time being so blocked from a past hurt, healing energy that you need to go through, and, you know, coldness and hardened feeling, like this hardened vibe to you. So we got two, Maulisa. Goddess of Cosmic Power, God Goddess, it says, God slash death, God Goddess of Cosmic Power. From Benin, Temple Threshold Guardians, Element Air. Mau Lisa is the force of Mother, Father, God Goddess. Mau is the Moon, the Divine Feminine. Lisa is the Sun, the Divine Masculine. They came together during a fawn, F-O-N, spelled F-O-N, eclipse to create cosmic power. Mau Lisa's Guidance. You are in the right place. Release the fear of your power. You are sacred. You are magic. Now that you know this, you can no longer pretend not to. Embodiment. Rise up into your magnificence. Love and accept yourself fully to unlock everything you seek. Stop pretending to be less than you are. Your real power has nothing to do with external gains. Cosmic power cannot be destroyed or lost. You were created by the same force that birthed the sun and the moon. Goddess Declaration. My power shines forth from within. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. I'll just leave this moonstone over here. That's your reading, Scorpio. I'll be back with your weekend readings. Thank you for watching. Take care and bye for now.